That high stakes battle over the classified Republican memo that criticizes the FBI and the Justice Department over the Russia investigation. President Trump wants it released to the public. The FBI has questions about its accuracy and the compromising of classified information. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has all the latest on the showdown. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. That memo this morning is right here at the White House. And despite that warning from the FBI, sources here tell us the president is still expected to release it. As soon as today, President Trump's showdown with his own FBI director could come to a head if he releases that controversial classified memo accusing the Justice Department of political bias. The microphone's catching the president's pledge to a Republican congressman. Let's release the memo. Oh, yeah. oh, don't worry. 100%. And Chief of Staff John Kelly promising the same. It'll be released here pretty quick, I think, and the whole world can see it. But in an extraordinary public clash with the White House, the FBI warned against against releasing that memo, saying officials only had a limited chance to review it and, quote, we have grave concerns about material omissions of fact that fundamentally impact the memo's accuracy. Call Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee wrote the four-page memo, and sources tell ABC News it alleges the Justice Department acted inappropriately when it obtained a surveillance warrant to spy on a Trump campaign advisor suspected of being a Russian agent. While some Republicans say the memo casts a shadow over the integrity of the Russia investigation, Democrats are outraged. This is the president of the United States acting to defend himself legally and politically at the expense of our national security. And now this morning, new allegations of President Trump demanding yet another loyalty pledge from a top law enforcement official involved in that Russia probe. This was the man overseeing the special counsel inquiry, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, testifying before congressional investigators in December. So nobody's asked me to take a loyalty pledge other than the oath of office. But a source tells ABC News the president recently asked if Rosenstein was, quote, on his team. The president also allegedly wanted to know about the direction of that Russia probe. Questions catching Rosenstein by surprise. So this now appears to be the third loyalty pledge asked by President Trump. Of course, there was former FBI Director James Comey. Sources tell us the president also asked former acting director Andrew McCabe how he voted in 2016. George, you know this, the big question this morning, will his current FBI director stay on the job in the middle of this clash if the president decides to go around him and release this memo? A departure of a second FBI director would be an absolutely astounding development. It here. would be extraordinary, Cecilia. Meanwhile, it comes with this memo being right in the middle of all these uh, questions. There are now questions about whether the House Intelligence Committee actually worked with the White House in preparing the memo. Yeah, the top Republican on that committee, uh, the chairman, was asked point blank during a hearing this week whether anyone on his staff worked with the White House, was in touch with the White House uh, about this memo and writing it. He refused to answer that question. He is also now under fire from the top Democrat on that committee, George, who is accusing uh, Chairman Nunes of secretly altering that memo before sending it to the White House. Nunes' team says that there were just minor edits. Right, and he's been accused of improperly working with the White House before. Okay, Cecilia, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.